We're just three litters away from the cutest kittens on the planet. At number three, an adorable family of Abyssinians who are taking their first steps toward becoming sleek, athletic cats. But there's one kitten who doesn't quite fit in. The runt, tiny dancer. It's tough being the littlest one in the family. When the kittens are three weeks old, Mom Avalon wrestles with the bigger kittens. But dainty, tiny Dancer prefers to stay on the sidelines. She avoids her rough-and-tumble family and wanders to the far reaches of the pink blanket. Finally, Tiny finds an activity better suited to her delicate ways. It's a perfect fit. Well, almost. Coming in at number two on our countdown is a hungry bunch of British short hairs. Mom Roxy definitely has her paws full with these five sweet but demanding kitties. And being a mom isn't Roxy's only job. She also works as a greeter at a cat clinic. She sets up a daycare in the back room for her eight-week-old kittens. When Roxy heads out to her post, she leaves oldest kitten Pippa in charge. She seems responsible enough. But with all the temptations an office has to offer, it's easy for a girl to forget her responsibilities. And before long, the whole gang is getting into and onto everything. Or at least they're trying. Clive takes his curiosity to another level. But when Big Moose tries to keep up... He can't quite hang in there. While the back room is awfully entertaining, Pippa notices that Mom left the door open. Her curiosity gets the better of her. The kittens follow Pippa's lead right into the exam room next door. It's pure feline fun. As long as you're not the one getting examined. But if the little Brits want to work in a vet's office one day, they need to be a little less distracting. And now, winning the number one spot on the Too Cute Countdown, a tiny orphaned tuxedo kitten named Oreo. Just yesterday, he was brought to this rescue sanctuary for animals in need. There are lots of furry creatures here, but little Oreo is on the hunt for one in particular, a new mother. Here's a possibility. Oreo makes his best efforts to say, hello. But the big kitten doesn't seem to want anything to do with this tiny tag along. There's that fellow. He's furry and big enough to be a mother. But he's not listening at all. Next, Oreo spots Nellie, a three-week-old orphan skunk.
she wears a tuxedo, too. But something doesn't smell quite right. And Nellie's off to sniff out her next activity. The search for a new mother sure is hard work, and Oreo's not getting very far with this motley crew. But when he least expects it, someone steps up to answer Oreo's call. It's Sinta, the German shepherd who looks after everyone who lives here. She's awfully big, but she sure is nice. Maybe Sinta would make a good mom. She may not be a mother cat, but when you're a tiny rescue kitten, having someone big to love you is the next best thing.